Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue class 10th mathematics. This is midterm examination, paper 4 key answers from question number 1 to 16. In the previous video, we have solved all the questions related to uh, that is paper 3. Now let us move for the first question of paper 4. The first question of paper 4 is if 54 is equal to x into 3 to the power of 3, then the value of x is dash and either. So let us see which will be the right option. So 54 na divide martha gana 2 2 za 1 mikto 2 7 za then 3 9 za 27 3 3 za 9. So 54 can be written as 2 into 3 to the power of 3. So 54 question al 54 is equal to x into 3 to the power of 3. 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 the x plus l 2 is there. Therefore x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 and it will be option A. Now let us move for question number 2. Number of zeros of the polynomial y is equal to f of x mentioned in the graph is 1 then uh, 1 2 3 so 3 zeros are there so for this question option c 3 now let us move for question number 3 in the question number 3 they have given if alpha beta and gamma are zeros of the polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d then the value of alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. So, here is relation. What will be the relation between alpha, beta, beta, gamma and gamma alpha? So, this relation is the alpha, beta plus beta, gamma plus gamma alpha. So, this relation it will be the right option is. So, the right option is option B. It is equal to C by A. So, alpha, beta plus beta, gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a so option b now let us move for question number four which of the following is solution for the given equation x plus y is equal to 3 and x minus y is equal to 1 so x plus y is equal to 3 x minus y is equal to 1 plus y minus y cancel 2x is equal to 4 so if 2x is equal to 4 x is equal to 2 1s are 2 2 zero. so x is equal to 2 agar x is equal to 2 but y find out man x plus y is equal to 2 uh, sorry x plus y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 minus x y is equal to 3 minus x and red 2 so y is equal to 1. The right option is option D 2 comma 1. Now let us move for question number 5. The value of discriminant of a quadratic equation is 5. Then the roots are dash and the cotier. The value of the discriminant that is 5 and the cotier. Then 5 is greater than 0. If the roots are greater than 0, then it is dist the roots are distinct and real. So for this question fifth option B oh sorry option B is the right answer for fifth question option B the roots are distinct and real distinct and real now let us move for question number six so question number six the sum of first n even positive integers the sum of even positive integers so in all of optionally the right option is c so c is the right option so c na len kottidane this is sixth question no? so that actually sn is equal to n into n plus 1 irbeko adane now multiply madidre r sn is equal to n into n n square plus n ones are n so sn is equal to n square plus n ide so option C is the right answer. Now let us move for question number 7. So in the question number 7 they have given which of the following is not a similar figure. All squares are similar. 
then all squares are similar all congruent triangles are similar but all rectangles are not similar so for seventh question the right option is option c option c all rectangles next let us move for eighth question so eighth question the midpoint of the line joining the points minus 6 comma 4 and 2 comma 0 is dash and thaida. So midpoint find out madadara minus 6 plus 2 and minus 4 by 2 minus 4 by 2 and minus 2 agate 4 plus 0 by 2 and so 4 plus 0 is 4 by 2 and 2 ones are 2 twos are so our answer is minus 2 comma 2 barbeco so minus 2 comma 2 and thandre option A. For 8th question, the right option is option A minus 2 comma 2. Now let us move for 2nd main 9th question. So 9th question is if LCM uh, of 6 comma 20 is 60, then find HCF on the carry. LCM could be done. Now we got HCF no find out more because so LCM is equal to 60 a is equal to 6 b is equal to 20 so hcf is equal to question mark so h is equal to a into b divided by l h is equal to a under 6 b under 20 l under 60 21 za 23 za 31 za 32 za therefore hcf is equal to 2 now let us move for 10th question. State fund state the fundamental theorem of arithmetics. So let us state the fundamental theorem of arithmetics. So fundamental theorem of arithmetic every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime factors. So let us write the statement now. So every composite number, every composite number can be, every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes, as a product of primes and this factorization And this factorization is unique apart from the order, apart from the order in which the prime factor occurs. So this is uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic now let us move for question number 11 the question number 11 is find the sum and product of the product of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and the quotidian so let us find out the sum and product so 11th question is they have given x square plus 7x plus 10 and the quotidian so a x square plus b x plus c a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7 c is equal to 10 so alpha plus beta is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a is equal to minus 7 by 1 which is equal to minus 7 alpha beta is equal to c by a is equal to c under 10 by a under 1 which is equal to 10. Now let us move for question number 12. So in the question number 12 they have given on comparing the ratio of the coefficients of the following equation find the type of line they represent and the cotidian. So let us write both the equation 5x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0 a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 then one more equation 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y 
plus c2 is equal to 0. So first a1 by a2 mankonna. a1 by a2 is equal to 5 by 7. b1 by b2 mankonna. is equal to minus 4 by 6 minus 2 2 is a 2 3 is a. Yekadre, a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. If a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, therefore two lines are in two lines are intersecting lines. So yarado line gado intersecting lines ayeta because a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Now let us move for question number 13. Mention the root nature of the roots of the quadratic equation when b square minus 4ac is less than 0. So when delta is lesser than 0, zero the roots are imaginary or the roots are not real. Next, 14th question. So state, uh, sorry, 14th. Write the equation to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. So sum of uh, first n terms. So let us write the formula. Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now let us move for question number 15. In the question number 15, they have given uh, that is state state the converse of Thales theorem. So, Thales theorem the converse number. So, let us move for question number uh, that is uh, 15. So, let us write the state uh, that is converse of Thales theorem. So, converse of Thales theorem let us write the statement. So, if a line if a line divides any two sides any two sides of a triangle if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then then the line is then the line is parallel to then the line is parallel to the third side so this is the uh, statement of converse of thales theorem now let us move for the last question of uh, one marks using formula find the distance between the pair of points 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 so let us find the distance between the two points that is four comma three and two comma sorry two comma three and four comma one. So we are going to distance in a find out manner. This is the last question of one marks. So the uh, points are two comma three. This is x one y one and four comma one. This is x two y two. Let us use the distance formula. D is equal to under square root of x two minus x one whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So distance is equal to square root of 4 minus 2 whole square plus 1 minus 3 whole square. So distance is equal to square root of 2 square plus minus 2 whole square. So d is equal to square root of 4 plus 4. So d is equal to square root of 4 how many times? 4 2 times. So d is equal to square root of 4 is 2 then remaining is root 2 units. So this is the distance between the two points. By this we have successfully solved all the questions related to one marks of paper 4. In the next video we are going to solve two marks question of paper 4 that is from question number 17 to question number 24. Till then thank you very much. Still those who are not subscribed my channel please subscribe it. Those who already subscribed. Please watch my videos, like my videos and share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video. So once again thanks for everyone who is supporting my YouTube channel. So thank you very much.